Fona Farhana binti Wan Muhammad Shudi. My metric number is A19B1147. Today I want to talk about our business nature of Sarawak Art Palm Surahat and also Goping Berhad. Okay, for business nature of Sarawak Art Palm Surahat, SOPB starts out as a joint venture between Commonwealth Development Corporation and the Sarawak State Government in 1968 to pioneer the commercial planting of oil palms in the state with an initial land area covering 4,600 hectares of oil palm plantation under the name of Sarawak Oil Palms and Neighborhood before the group changed into name of SOPB officially in 1990. SOPB is involved primarily in the cultivation of oil palm and uh, the operation of palm oil mill. Next, uh, SOPB was listed on the Bursa Malaysia in August 1991. In June 1995, Sinyang Plantation Sanya Berhad bought over CDC's entire share in SOPB of 25%. SOPB Group has since then expanded its land bank to over 121,000 hectares with 87,000 hectares planted with oil palm trees in Sarawak. Business nature of Gopin Berhad is incorporated on 9 November 1983. Gopin Berhad was established to undertake the management on Ownership of the asset and business operation of Copings Consolidated, which is a UK based company. The takeover was in effect under a scheme of arrangement on 12 April 1984, which have been in operation in the, in the 1890s, which was involved in the alveol, alveol tin mining industry. It has since continued and expanded its business operation and currently in the cultivation of palm oil investment holding and property development sector. There are four main core areas of business in Gomping, namely property development, plantation, manufacturing, investment holding. One of Gomping's most significant achievement would be its involvement in the design, construction and maintenance of road work in the Ipoh to Goping and Tapas to be those stretches of the Plus Highway. Introduction from Financial Management Study of how people and business evaluate investment and raise capital to find them. The firm had to devote considerable expenses to designing, producing and marketing their product with hope that it eventually capture a sufficient amount of market share to make the investment worthwhile. Financial, manage, financial manager, they are responsible for investment decision, financial decision, and dividend decision. Investment decision included investment in fixed asset and current asset. While financial decision are related to rising of finance from various resources and dividend re Decision is based on net profit, based on net profit distribution. Financial management are focused on ratio equities debt. By calculating those, it may help the company in planning and controlling to generate sales on its invested funds. In order to understand more about financial management, our group has begun a research on Sarawak Oil Pumps Berhad and also Gopeng Berhad. As a comparison, as a comparison, we use the financial report of 2017, 2018, and 2019 for both companies for research. The reports show what we have done and what we have learned about financial management in the process of research. Next, we move to next presenter. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Rahelmi bin Rashid. My metric number is A Y nine A zero three six three. Today, I want to explain my part. I have three part. First. Current ratio, 
Second, total asset turnover. Third, deep to equity ratio. Look for Sarawak Oil Plum Company. For current ratio, the company is best on the table. In 2019, Sarawak Oil Plum has 1.89% current ratio. This means that in 2019 is the best highest ratio than 2018 and 2017, which is a uh, which is at a ratio of 1.69% and 1.55%. This reflects the ability to repair its short-term liability on time. Level liquidity is satisfactory. Horizontal analysis for Sarawak Oil Plum and Gopeng Berhad Company. Based on the calculation of the current ratio for the company Sarawak Oil Plum, show an increase for each year. In 2017, the current ratio was 1.55% and increased by 0.1%. 4% in 2018 and in 2019 increase again by 0.2% to 1.89%. For Gopin Berhad, the current ratio show a decrease in 2017. The company current ratio was 54.71% and decreased to 47.91% in 2018. For 2019, it also decreased to 39.76%. In conclusion, both companies, namely Sarawak Oil Plum and Gopeng Berhad, are able to pay their liability because the sum of the two company is set one, but the company that is less a uh, risk for the company inability to pay it liability is the Kopeng Berhad company. Vertical analysis for Sarawak Oil Plum Berhad and Gopeng Berhad company. Current ratio for the total current ratio of the complete company is the Gopeng Berhad company. However, both company uh, able to pay the liability in the short term has the amount for both company except one. Hi, Assalamualaikum. I am Siti Maimunah Binti Mokhtar. My metric number is A19B1129. Now, we continue with horizontal analysis for that ratio for Sarawak Oil Spam Berhad and Gopeng Berhad. So, here we can conclude that Sarawak Oil Spam Berhad have the highest debt ratio in 2017 which is 48.48%. Meanwhile, Gopeng Berhad have the highest ratio in 2019 with 9.87%. So, we can conclude that Sarawak Oil Spam Berhad is a worse than Gopeng Berhad. That indicates that 48.48% of the business liabilities are covered by asset. Now, we continue with horizontal analysis for operating profit margin for Sarawak Oil Spam Berhad and Gopeng Berhad. The formula for, uh, of operating profit margin is net operating income or EBIT divided by sale. So the conclusion is operating profit margin for the years 2017 until 2019 in Gopeng Berhad is the highest amount compared to Sarawak or Spam Berhad. Alright, for the year 2018, Gopeng Berhad is 67.87%. Meanwhile, Sarawak Oil Spam Berhad is 4.15%. It will indicate Gopeng Berhad is better than Sarawak Oil Spam Berhad. Now, horizontal analysis for return on equity for Sarawak Oil Spam Berhad and Gopeng Berhad. The formula for return on equity is net income divided by common equity. So, what we can conclude here is return on equity for 3 years which is Sarawak Oil Spam Berhad has higher return on equity compared to Gopeng Berhad. 
For the years 2017, Sarawak Ais Pembahat has 12.33%. Meanwhile, Goping Bahat has 1.78%. So, we can conclude that Sarawak Ais Pembahat have the highest ratio and indicates the greater the return earning from, for the firm stockholders and better than Goping Bahat. Now, I will continue with vertical analysis for that ratio between Sarawak Ais Pembahat and Goping Bahat. So, the conclusion is Sarawak Oil Spam Berhad having the highest debt ratio rather than Goping Berhad. So, Sarawak Oil Spam Berhad indicates 44.65% of the business liabilities are covered by asset. Hello, my name is Nur Saleh Sati binti Nordin Mamesh number A1980440. As we can see at the slide, it shown that the working capital of Sarawak Oil Pumps Berhad from 2017 until 2018 are increased each year. Next, the time interest earned of Sarawak Oil Pumps Berhad in year 2017 has got the higher value compared to 2018 and 2019. It's meant that uh, the firm can meet the loan requirement lower risk of default. Gross profit margin of Sarawak Oil Pumps Berhad uh, for the year 2017 is the highest, but it decreased in 2018. But at the end, the ratio increased in 2019. This is shown that the bot rear that got higher ratio indicates high contribution margin. The net looking capital for Goping Berhad in year 2017 has increased in 2018, but its capital was decreased in 2019. We can conclude that in 2019, it's not able to pay off the short-term liabilities. In year 2017, Goping Bahad got the highest of time interest earned, but it decreased sharply in 2018 and 2019. Gross profit margin for the Goping Bahad in year 2017 is the highest value compared to compared in 2018 and 2019. As we can see that, uh, the ratio issue was decreased sharply. So this is shown the higher ratio indicates high contribution margin. From the year 2017 to 2018, the debt working capital of Sarawak Oil Pumps Berhad has stable because the capital increased of each year, while the net working capital for Goping Berhad has unstable because in 2017 to 2018, the capital was decreased. Um, it means that Sarawak Oil Pumps Berhad has enough current asset to meet its current liabilities, but the net working capital for Koping Berhad was more higher compared to Sarawak Oil Pumps Berhad from 2017-2019. In the year from 2017-2019, to 2019, the time interest earn of Sarawak Oil Pumps Berhad and Koping Berhad was unstable, so this shown that both company can afford to pay its interest payment when they come due. Gross profit margin for the year 2017 to 2018 for Goping Bahad was more highest compared to Sarok or Pumps Bahad, but Goping Bahad was the most highest ratio in the case. It will increase contribution margin, so it is shown that Sarok or Pumps Bahad company did well in managing its cost of sales. Goping Berhad having the higher networking capital rather than Sarawak or Palms Berhad. Generally, a high networking capital is a good sign for the company. It means that the company has enough current asset to meet its current liabilities. Goping Berhad got a higher time interest and ratio than Sarawak or Palms Berhad. A company with a much higher time interest and ratio shows the company can afford to pay its interest payment when they come due. Higher ratio are less risky while lower ratio indicate credit risk. Saram Oil Pumps Berhad having the higher gross profit margin rather than Goping Berhad. A high gross profit margin means that the company did well in managing its cost of sale. It also shows that the company has more to cover for operating, financing, and other costs. The gross profit margin may be improved by increasing sales price or decreasing cost of sales. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nor Azad bin Tiabaka. Metric number A1980435. I will present about quick ratio and net profit margin uh, ratio analysis. 
The quick ratio is an indicator of a company's short-term liquidity position and measure company ability to meet a short-term obligation with its most liquid asset. It is also called the asset test ratio. The quick ratio is calculated by current asset minus inventory and dividing the sum by current liabilities are shown in the formula. Uh, quick ratio for uh, Sarawak or Plumber Hut 2019 1.55, 2018 1.26, 2017 1.15. Gopin Hut quick ratio 2019 39.62. 2018 47.88 2017 54.56 Horizontal analysis based on the calculation that quick ratio Sarawak and Palmer Heart Company increased by 0.11 time and has obtained 1.26 uh, 2018 compared to 1.15 2017 the quick ratio show increase uh, further by 0.29 as a result of the quick ratio obtained in 2019 was 1.55 compared to 1.26 2018. It showed that Sarawak Oil Palmer had can uh, pay short term obligation exclude inventory within one year. Uh, quick ratio compared to company decreased by 6.68 time and has obtained. 47.88 uh, 2018 compared to 54.56 uh, 2017. The quick ratio show decreased by 8.26 times as a result of quick ratio obtained in 2019 was 39.62 compared to 47.88 2018. Uh, it indicates that Gopen Berhad can pay short term obligation exclude inventory within one year. Uh, Sarawak Al Pumber High Net Profit Margin uh, 2019 3.08%. Uh, Gopen Berhad Net Profit Margin 2019 is 47.02%. It shows that Gopen Berhad Company have the higher of the uh, net profit margin or return on sale is uh, better. A uh, higher percentage means that the company did well in managing its expenses. It is also useful to compare uh, its two benchmark, such as industry average of par performer to determine uh, the company's standing. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nazarifa Binti Mat Zakri, metric number A1980487. I represent about Sarawak Oil Plums Berhad, account retrievable turnover. The format is sale divided by account retrievable. Table show in 2018, Sarawak Oil Plums Berhad has 15.49x of account retrievable turnover. It means that the higher ratio compared 2017 and 2019. So, for the higher ratio like year 2018 has reflect the effectiveness in collecting retrievable. Horizontal analysis inventory turnover for year 2018 for Gopeng Berhad is the higher which is 109 and 64x. Uh, Eventual decrease in year 2019 but it's still higher than Sarawak Oil Plum Berhad. Why for Sarawak Oil Plum Berhad decrease in year 2018 uh, and back increase uh, year 2019, this means that the effectiveness eventually to generate sales. Vertical analysis return on asset. Table shows Sarawak Oil Plums Berhad has the higher of return on asset which is 0.02% rather than Gopeng Berhad 0.01%. A higher ratio is more valuable to investor because it shows that the company is more effectively managing its asset to produce greater amounts of net income. Assalamualaikum, my name is Ikmal Hakimi bin Zainuddin and my metric number is A19B1153. Okay, today I will present about the financial management and my part is a recommendation. So the recommendation for the what we get from the report is we have made the observation between two companies, Sarawak Oil and Gopeng Berhad for the past three years. So the report has shown that the Sarawak Oil Palms have 
having a higher debt rather than coping by heart. So the, re the recommendation is the oil palm have to manage it and to control the cost to make sure that the company will have the lowest debt in the year. And third is hope that Sarawak oil palms can be more alert about the smallest thing to make sure that it will be no more mistake like this. So the conclusion is, the project has been very useful to me because I have learned how to prepare the cash flow statement and the ratio analysis to improve the, my knowledge of a financial statement which is very useful in the business and commerce every day. The understanding financial management analysis help the users of the financial statement to understand the complicated matter in a simplified manner. Uh, so next we go to the appendix. So I will show you the picture and the recommendation that our group have made. So let's go. Okay, that's that's okay. That's all from me. Thank you for watching and thank you very much.